Hello and welcome to Rustland. My name is Daniel and I'm a senior software engineer. Today we're going to work on another exercise, exercise finding the leap year. If you're not familiar with the leap year, a leap year is a calendar year that contains an additional day added to keep the calendar year synchronized with the astronomical year. To simplify it, a year is not exactly 365 days, but 365.25. And to keep the Gregorian calendar sync, based on the following pattern, we add one day every four years to the February month. Now, let's take a look at the pattern. So as you can see, based on this pattern, on every year that is evenly divisible by four, except every year that is evenly divisible by 100, unless the year is also evenly divisible by 400. So, let's start by implementing the first line. So, as you can see, we have a couple of tests here. And the first one, what we need to do is to check that if year modular of 4 is 0, return true. Otherwise, it's false. So that's the very first quote part that we can implement. So let's test it. So the first test is passing. Now let's move on to the next one. This one is also passing. Move to the next one. This one is passing too. Great. Next one. Okay, this one is passing. Great. So this one. And now we've got a problem. So now this test is checking on under. So we're going to need to get back here and implement the second part. So except every year that is evenly divisible by 100. So over here, let's check that. If year modular 100 equals 0 this one is going to be returned false and it's passing great so let's go on let's move on to next one perfect it's passing and next one now we got a problem the year 2000 so perhaps we need to implement the last part unless the year is also evenly divisible by 400 so for here if year modular 400 equals zero so now this part this should be true return true and let's check the test okay it's working okay let me just move it. Okay. Test. Perfect. All the tests are passing. Now, if we get back to our code, let's just modify our code to look a little bit more readable. So, what can we do? Over here, so if you take a look at take a look at here so uh, if this section is true we're returning true otherwise it's gonna get over here and return false so basically this means that it's something like this so if this is true return true otherwise return false so what we can right here so we can simply say return so what we can say here can remove this part can remove this return to and simply say return this part of code and this part of code year 
modulo 400. If it is true, then return true. Otherwise, return false. So basically, we can just say return year modulo 400 equals zero. And just get rid of it. We can just okay. So nothing changed. Now get back to this. Getting back to this board. Applying the same principle. Else. Oops. Else. So return. True. Okay. Now this board is saying that if year modular hundreds is true, then return year modular four hundred equals zero. Otherwise, return true. So, what we can do about it? Let's first of all remove this return part, make it a little bit simpler. And move the return over here. Now, let's invert this check. So basically, if it is not, then return true otherwise return this okay we roll so how can we shorten this what we can do says that either this one is true or this one is true so Basically, we can say return year modular 100 is not 0 or year modular 400 is true. You can also check it, check the test. Okay, perfect, it's working. So now we got stuck with this board. So you can say we can say else false and I can just move this and move this return before if Oops. so what it says it says that if it is true and all of these statements are true return true Otherwise, return false. So, simply we can say that if your module but four is equals to zero, and we need to add a parentheses to check to get the result of all of these statements, and we can get rid of this. So we can test it and perfect it's passing there are other ways that we can implement these statements we can use match also if you want to use a match so we need to check in a reverse order so meaning that we need to first check this part and then we need to check this part and then we need to check this part so we can simply say match here and maybe declare a variable x if x modular 400 equals 0 then return true x if x modular 100 equals 0 then false x if x modular 4 equals 0 then return true and wanted to add non-exclusive pattern or anything that is not matched with these hands or arms so otherwise simply return false
perfect. Another way that we can extend this match is to say match simply move these checks of x modulo 400 x modulo 100 and x modulo 4 into the match by using tuples so if your modulo 400 and your modulo 100 and your modulo 4 and it's say that if it is true Modulo 100, and it's to say it is 0, anything, anything, and true, anything, 0, anything, false, anything, anything, 0, it's true. And anything, 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 and false. And it's passing. Great. So, if you have any question, write it in the comment, please. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to get the notification on the new videos. Thanks for watching and uh, I will see you on the next one.